Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Ace Combat 7 playthrough. The last playthrough that I'm going to do here in this channel before I retire and also the last Ace Combat game release it, right? At least ever since now, you know, 2022 and all. I mean, you know, Ace Combat 7, right? The most recent one, I think. If you're here, you have played that, you know, at least. If you haven't played the old ones, you have at least played Ace Combat 7. Well, what is there to say, man, about Ace Combat 7? I mean, to me, this is the comeback Ace Combat game, right? This is the, the proper Ace Combat game after over 10 years, right? Ever since Ace Combat 6, you know, this was the, the statement game. Right for Ace Combat, you know that Ace Combat is back, you know, after so long, right? After so many ups and downs, mostly downs, you know, Ace Combat was seemingly uh, coming back, you know, and it did, right? This is a solid game, you know. It, it for me, it still remains a solid game, you know. It's still very good. Just a few things here and there that I didn't like it back then, and I still don't think and. Uh, but it was the comeback Ace Combat game, and, and Jesus, man, after so long with spin-offs like Saw Horizon Joint Assaults, I remember pretty much everything that preceded even before this game was being announced, right? I think the first time this, the, the actual, like, next Ace Combat game was being hinted at, and I think it doesn't, it, it wasn't really intentional, it was like an interview back then with Harada, you know, the Tekken producer. He, he's now, he has a, a higher, you know, he's a high profile developer now at Bandai Neko these days. And I remember he did an interview one, uh, one day and he talked about, v he was talking about VR, you know, PlayStation VR. And he, t he was talking about Tekken and stuff and all of that. And he also talked about Ace Combat, right? He said like, yeah, we also tested it out with Ace Combat and stuff, but I don't remember exactly what he said. But I mean, at the time, the PlayStation VR was pretty much a PS4 thing, right? It was pretty much next gen. So he pretty much kind of hinted that we, you know, a next gen Ace Combat game was already being developed, right? At the time, you know, that was like the first little light, I guess, of like the, the the light at the end of the tunnel that we we would actually get a proper Ace Combat game sometime soon, right? And then the the, the producers, developers, they also had like they did some interviews back when the Infinity was still up. And one of them, the interview, he asked them about, you know, you know, what is the next Ace Combat game, right? What is next for Ace Combat and all? And they kind of gave it an answer that, like, yeah, we are, we have something in the works, right? And we're gonna talk about it soon. Something in the lines of that, you know? It was like first time they at least acknowledged the existence, right, of the next Ace Combat game and all. But the actual first concrete thing that we heard about Ace Combat 7 actually came from inside Ace Combat Infinity. Back in the day, the, one of the guys that did the data mining, he found a bunch of references to Ace Combat 7 in the game. You know, it was like uh, emblems that was going to be uh, released for the game in celebrating the announcement of Ace Combat 7, you know, and it, it even mentioned it when it was going to be announced, you know, which was PlayStation Experience 2015. And I remember that day very vividly, you know, when this game was announced, of course, I've, I could never forget that, you know, as a long time Ace Combat fan, the fact that they were, were making an Ace Combat 7, you know, a, a number title after so many downs that we'd had with the series, it, it, I almost, you know, I mean, I didn't want to believe, you know, that it was actually going to happen. You know, Ace Combat was actually going back. We were actually going to have a proper Ace Combat game, you know, back in Stranger Rio, of course, because it was a numbered title and all of that. And it was like a bunch of talks about it and all of that. And, and then the day actually came, you know, from PlayStation Experience 2015. Man. And then, Jesus, man, they announced that the game that day. And it was like, oh my God, you know, it was... It was unbelievable. I mean, at the time, it was like, I, I could not believe, you know. I, I pretty much had been, I was used to the idea that Ace Combat was going to be like that, you know, just like spin-offs here and there, you know, some stuff here and, and, and then there, you know, not really an actual, you know, proper like Ace Combat game mainline with budget and all of that. You probably know about this game's trouble development, right? I mean, this game was announced in PlayStation Experience 2015. It was like December 2015. And the game only came out in January 2019, you know, a little over three years later. You know, that was a long time. And there was, 
I remember specifically like 2016, 17-ish, there was a lot of silence, you know, about this game. It was like a, almost a full year, maybe a full year without any news about this game, in fact. It was like, you know, what's happening? You know, what the game, something wrong with it? I mean, everyone assumed it was, and it, it did. It, there was plenty of wrong effect. They almost canceled this game, in fact, because of its troubled uh, development with it, you know, and just even after everything, the game, you know, finally came out. January 2019, well, I mean, the, the week that came before the game came out, you know, or at least the, the two weeks before that, I could not think about anything else, you know, pretty much. I was like, you know, my mind was just set into this, you know, I could, I, it was like I could not even play any other game, you know, I just want to play Ace Combat, you know, after, I'm, after I play Ace Combat 7, then I can come back, you know, to my normal uh, mental state. And I actually played this game uh, before release, and... I remember the first thing, the, the actual first thing that I did with this game, I it, it was not actually playing the game, right? It was actually, I listened to the music of it. You know, this game has an in-game music player, if you bought the uh, deluxe edition, I think, whatever it's called, and you could listen to the music, right? And it was already available from the start. You did not have to progress the game or anything like that. You can listen it from the start, dude. And it was the very first thing that I did when I got this game. You know, I mean, obviously... You know that music is 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 very important to me, right? A huge portion of my channel was about that. It was about Ace Combat music because music is part of my soul, pretty much. And well, for me, the music of Ace Combat Seven is actually it's the best Ace Combat music they ever made. You know, it's it's my favorite Ace Combat music. You know, even more than Ace Combat Four, which is you know the Ace Combat game I like the most and all of that. But I think the music of Ace Ace Combat Seven it outdid the level that they have been doing before you know they took it a, a step higher pretty much you know they i don't i don't know what, what was happening between the composers man but they were really inspired in this you know they they had some some real shit going on between them because they did the music of this game is is i mean you know right you know you know the music of ace combat 7 it's unbelievable right it, it's like and I, and I was listening to this even before playing the game i was like dude i, ca I can't believe you know i can't believe how good this is this you know this isn't real you know it it, it is ace combat music but it's on another level pretty much right and 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 that was like i i mean i, I can still describe you know some of the music in this game is just, it's still unbelievable you know and it is like one of the major factors that pull people from uh, uh i mean it, it pulls people towards ace combat i know because i read a lot about this you know especially in the comment section of my videos and all of that ever since this game came out i got like you know hundreds of comments every day or whatever and most people come out and say that you know oh my god this music is awesome i want to try out the game pretty much or like oh i never played this game but this music is great and all of that so the music of this game being this good i'm pretty sure it was one of the defining factors that made more people try out ace combat right people that never played uh ace combat before man but it was just such a good music and oh my god yeah it was, it was just like unbelievable but you know what it was the weirdest thing about this game for me it was the fact that when it, it when it was about to came out or after it came out definitely around the time of release uh bandai they tried to push a esports scenery for this game right? if you have been around you remember that it didn't last too long of course but they actually tried to make turn Ace Combat 7 into a potential like esports game, you know. I I'm not kidding, that's true. They actually tried that. I mean, coming from, from Bandai, it makes sense because they publish, you know, games like Tekken 7, you know, Tekken 7, Guilty Gear, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z as well. So, Calibur, they're all like esports games because they are fighting games and there is a whole culture about that, you know, with uh, events like Evo and all. There, there's definitely a co competitive scenery for this game, you know. So, it made sense that they would try to do it with Ace Combat. But, I mean, I mean, if you have been around Ace Combat, you know, before and, and all the stuff that I've been talking about in these videos, I mentioned this a couple of times, right? I mean, Ace Combat just does not have a foundation you know for being a, a like an esports thing you know i mean sure at the time the game was about to come out that would be the time where most people would be jumping into the game right they would definitely be trying out the multiplayer that this game has you know this game has the traditional ace combat pvp stuff you know team deathmatch and battle royale 
But man, the, I, I mean, ever since the day that they announced that, you know, that they were trying out to see if this game could have any potential esports, I mean, I, I just knew it, right? I, I just knew it that this would not work out, you know, at all. And it did not, in fact. And I am familiar with esports because there was a time in my life, like, seven or eight years ago that I was super into it you know I, I used to play Street Fighter 4 competitively a lot you know back in the day I even went to some local tournaments and all of that it is something that I'm very familiar with you know how competitive stuff works and fighting game stuff you know how basically I, I, I understand the atmosphere of those things I could never have imagined that the band I would actually try to do this with Ace Combat you know with Ace Combat 7 and how it is it's just like this game does not have co-op you know it, it, it does not have the co-op that in Infinity have, which was like the best online we environment we ever got on Ace Combat. You know, it, if anything, if Ace Combat could have some sort of competitive, it could have been with the stuff that Infinity did. You know, with online co-op. It's just the fact that you know, even before this game came out, I think it was around release or something that they would actually come out and say, "Look, we're trying to make Ace Combat a competitive, you know, an esports thing." You know, I mean, sure, they they want to make more money out of the, the game, of course, just like they do with Tekken and, and and Guilty Gear and stuff and, and Fighter Z and all. But dude, the fact that they would even like see if this game could work, I think even because the game wasn't even out yet and they were already talking about competitive ace combat. It's also the fact that, you know, when companies actually go out and say stuff like this, you know, that we want this game to be competitive and all. When the game does not have like nothing about it, you know, the people that play, they don't really, you know, play the game that much. There isn't a community around and all of that. It already brushes off a wrong impression you know that you know, they are trying to put they're trying to push a competitive thing for the game you know that just not exists because from my own personal experience and in my opinion of it these things they have to work the actual opposite you know it's the people that are playing the game you know if they're playing the game together online and they're having fun you know they're gonna find ways to to be to be competitive, you know, to turn into a competitive thing. It's not, it's not really the company that has to step in and like try to be the initial movement for that, you know, the, the initial trigger of it. It's actually the people around that play. It. Even when they come out and say, we're trying to make competitive, it already gives the impression that, oh, th this game is gonna be tailored for be competitive. You know, they didn't try it to be fun or anything. They tried to be uh, competitive, right? And I mean, sure, I, I I know about this because of fighting games and all, but we know for Ace Combat, right? the, the, the Ace Combat PvP is not something that there's like a lot of people around it, you know, even on release there was a little bit, but it just died out, you know, like it was supposed to be. Ace Combat as a game does not have the, did not have the foundations for it, and it actually did not, you know, it didn't even last too long, I don't remember how long it lasted, they did like a, a few minor tournaments and all of that you know pretty much testing it out to see but i mean if you have been around this combat especially around actual competitive stuff you know not not just fighting games i mean there's a lot of fps's and all of that you know that this was something that it would not just work you know it don't don't don't, don't try to make your games like competitive because that's what people want you know i know that people that like plays game competitive they do it because it's fun you know they keep jumping from game to game, you know, if the game that they're playing is not fun enough, they're gonna jump into something else, you know, I see that, that thing happening a lot with uh, fighting game players, you know, because this is what people want at the end of the day, you know, they want to have fun with it, you know, so just try to keep make the game fun, you know, just make it fun to play and have your friends around and, and stuff so you can play online, and then we can, we can find a way, to, you know, to become competitive, it, it will be like, it's almost gonna be like a natural thing, you know, it's gonna come forward to, it's gonna turn into a actual thing, you know, instead of trying to make your game competitive. And I, I don't mean this specifically for like Ace Combat in the future, I just mean like in general, you know, because I do have the uh, uh, experience with this, you know, I have been into into the, this atmosphere and I still do, in fact, just not as much as before. But the fact that they tried to do this with Ace Combat back in the day was like, ooh, I, I mean, I don't think they really understood, you know, what people that play Ace Combat, what we really want, you know, and I mean, I have been, I have already been vocal about this, right? We know what we want for the future, right? Online call of stuff, you know, Ace Combat pretty much calls it for it. But yeah, uh, I guess that's pretty much all I wanted to say for all of this. Uh, for the last time I played this game was when the the fictional aircraft DLC came out in 2020, right? And I mean, I played and all with the with the aircraft, and I just I don't think I ever touched the game again. You know, I was like, yeah, it's cool, but 
you know, it's time for the other Ace, uh, the the next Ace Combat game, right? This game is, is cool and all of that, but it's time to move on basically. And and they are they are making a, a next Ace Combat game, as you know, of course. But it was pretty much it the last time I played it. This is the PC version. Uh, I think I I finished this on PC at least a couple of times. I'm gonna click on restart the story. Oh, I don't have Ace difficulty unlocked. Ah. Uh, Maybe I don't. I mean, I just want to play it like it was the first time, you know? I don't want to have the stuff unlocked. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. Yeah. It's when blue. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. Mm. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. F. 
<laughs> okay. Is everyone here? Settle down. I said settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhin ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie, fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Many injured. Straight. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. <laughs> Trouble's already coming up. Okay, good. Let me see the tree if I... I don't remember if I had... I don't have anything I like. I mean, I do have a few things. I have a money? I do! Okay, it's right over here. I'll check it later. But I'll use the... The F-16, this one. Here. Oh yeah, I do have the first DLC pack. The other one I bought on console. Uh... Well... Started playing, I guess. F-16. 4 AMs. Do I even have parts in this? I do. I'll put it later, whatever. Just want to start get a, get a few of the aircraft again. Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by yes, I know. <laughs> okay, there you go. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron, head to runway. Column squadron, take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, main squadron. Yeah. Trigger your call sign is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, mm -hmm. take off. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with page one. Oh, yeah. Page two, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. Up and down? Okay. <laughs> Harbor's taken a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage two, form yeah. up with mage one. This Only music for mission one, though, mage they really one went one hard with it. Time. Roger that. This is the AWAC Skykeeper. Yeah, taking down some bombers. That's, that's some ace they combat stuff, of course. Identified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Welcome. Trigger, I'm your wingman. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Whatever you say. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. See the guns. Okay, here we go. Looks like yeah, see, that thing I talked about. The, the radical only follows up enemy bomber later. Down. Good job, Mage two. It's gonna Not take some time to get used to it. Oh. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can Which radar? Enemy. This one? There you go. Yeah, like I said, man, the composers, they were into something else when they were making the music for this game. Watch out for the support aircraft. 
change air target. Oh god. Well, it's gonna come with practice. It's not like I have been playing Ace Combat for 20 years. Use it wisely. That was wise enough. When the, the ace. Maintain your element with mage one. Do not break off. Mage one, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Wilco, Golem two, let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Okay. Oh, he's ready in writing to me. Oh yeah, there's a few to work with. Attention all combat groups. Are there any drones? Verify. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus, this is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. <sighs> Cursing in my ace combat. Don't that hit him. He's heading towards me. Oh dear God! All right, I'll get to it. Flares are Yeah. Just like that. Hesitating for a split second could be the difference between life and death. Stay sharp, think fast. Roger that. <laughs> She's gonna need that later. Should I get a little bit more tagger uh target practice? Oh, I see. It's better if I don't really rely on the, the, the radical too much, right? Oh, you just ruined it. That didn't count. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. I think I understand. Yeah, you go down. You go down. I don't want to touch you. Behind target and ready to attack. 
Bam. To Gollum and Mage, job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Good. Good going, Mage 2. Flight Commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Column Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing. Are you what <laughs> okay he just showed up we are currently assessing the damage to the base we have confirmed that the aircraft carrier albatross was sunk we know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Ah, just doing my thing, man. As always.